Okay, this is going to be a video of, about how to convert a um, quantum condenser ignition engine to electronic ignition. First thing you do, take off the old, <coughs> um, actually no, take off the flywheel first. Now, how you do this is to get an oil filter wrench and turn the flywheel so the little notch you can put the one part of the wrench in there and then turn it down until it locks the flywheel. Just kind of move it around. It is. Then I get an open end wrench and the hammer and a little bump. And sometimes that happens. Try that again. This is probably gonna have to be in two parts because the camera I'm using can't take very long videos. But anyway, there. Once that's loose, just take the ratchet off. And when putting this back together, you're gonna want to take some automatic transmission fluid. Put a little bit in there and a little bit on the shaft so the ratchet doesn't seize up. Now, to get the flywheel off, I take a hammer and um, a big screwdriver. Put the screwdriver behind the flywheel, pull back on it, and then tap that on the flywheel, coming right off. Take the washer off. Don't lose that. And then your flywheel. And the flywheel key. Don't lose that either. Now that's off. You can see the ignition cover. The points cover. To do this conversion, you don't even have to take the cover off. All you have to do is get some side holes. And there's a wire that goes from here up to the magneto. Cut it. I've already done this, but so after you do that, take off the old points and condenser coil. The bolts that hold this on usually have a quarter inch head. Let's loosen those up. be a little bit of wire sticking out of the cover. So just take your side cutters and snip it off flush with the cover. Now you can put your flywheel back on. So put the flywheel back on. Turn it so the keyway is facing up. Flywheel on. Flywheel key. It only goes in one way, so you can play with it so it'll go in. And this is, this is, well, it's, it's pretty easy. But there. If it won't go in by itself, just lightly tap it in with a hammer. on and like I said earlier before you put this back on put a little bit of automatic transmission fluid in there and on the shaft I've already done this so put that on screw the ratchet back on and then take your oil filter wrench 
put it in the other side. Lock the flywheel in there. Take your hammer and your open arm wrench and tighten this back on. Okay, um, watch for uh, part two for how to do the rest of it. Thanks for watching. Bye.